Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Patricia Cardner and I'm making you this short video to introduce you to my new book called Positive Poker. I wrote the book Positive Poker, A Modern Psychological Approach to Mastering Your Mental Game along with Jonathan Little, author of Secrets of Professional Tournament Poker, Volumes 1 through 3, in order to show you how scientific psychology can be applied in the poker arena to help you get better results at the table. In order to give you an idea of just some of the things you'll learn by reading Positive Poker, I'm going to go over some of the keys to poker success. I became aware of these keys to poker success when I conducted research for my dissertation called Peak Poker Performance. Basically, I interviewed a group of elite poker players, all of whom have seven-figure wins over quite a long period of time. I asked them about their opinions on the psychological skills, traits, and abilities that allow someone to become an elite poker player. Based off of this research, I'm confident in telling you, you'll need to learn the following things. You need to learn how to optimize your brain for peak performance. You need to master your emotions and learn how to stay off tilt. The best poker players understand that maintaining and increasing self-confidence is important to becoming an elite player. In fact, Daniel Negreanu just wrote a blog post where he discussed how having confidence in his ability to master the game was one of the key factors that's led him to have the success that he's had at the poker table. You need to learn how to stay motivated. That's not always easy, given that there's a lot of variance in this game, and even when you do everything right, sometimes you still don't get the results you want. All elite poker players set goals using effective strategies. And these strategies might surprise you because they're not the commonly outlined strategies that you hear in the popular press. You need to learn to improve your focus and concentration at the table. That can be difficult when you're playing for hours on end, but this book does provide tips on how to do just that. And finally, you have to learn to bounce back time after time because poker is a brutal game and often, even when you play really well, you lose. Now, in case you were thinking that maybe this is just a theoretical book, let me assure you that it's not. Each chapter outlines the theoretical aspects of the psychological principles that you can use to improve your game. Plus, I give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the techniques. Finally, Jonathan Little provides his insights on each and every chapter. He goes over how he's used these psychological principles to improve his game, and he even talks about mistakes he's made and how he's overcome those mistakes using psychological principles in order to get to the level that he's at. If you want to be the best poker player you can be, this is the book for you. As Al Schoonmaker said, if you're willing to work hard to become a great player, read this book. I encourage you to read this book, absorb it, and then apply as many of the techniques as you can. I'm confident that in doing this, you will see results, not just at the poker table, but also in life. I'm really excited about this book, and I really hope you enjoy reading it. Thanks for stopping by.